Good morning, it's me again. Eating another meal. You see that there on the back of the van and many times on the back of the t-shirts that I wear. Sometimes people find that offensive. It says, uh, simple message says, eat, eat like it matters. So, I, I don't think anyone should be, I'm eating right now, so if I have any food in my teeth, sorry about that. I don't think that anyone should be offended by that. Let me put this in my little phone holder. Because the simple message to it is that you should eat like it matters. You should eat like it matters what you put in your body. Now, I showed you my little... 400 calorie meal that's the blackened chicken it tastes good um, I made the recipe I would rate it a I would give it a a B plus I'm fair I'm not gonna say everything I come with is uh, come up with is an a a plus to B plus it's good it um it's lower on the sodium side so someone might say oh that I need some hot sauce or need some salt but you know, after you uh, after you wean off the sodium, after you start using less and less sodium, you realize that you don't need as much salt and hot sauce as you think you do. And when you do eat some outside food, what I mean by that is some fast food or something at a party that's maybe catered, and you get a dose of what high sodium is, and like to me, it feels like it, it uh, electrocutes my tongue. Anyway, let me stop rambling and uh, get back to the point about eating like it matters. So, it's the summertime and, and just in life in general, there's always an event. And there's food around, you know, so the summertime you might be, uh, you might be at a uh, oceanside restaurant and they have like a lobster roll or fried shrimp or clams or whatever you know french fries all that good stuff and you're like hell you know i want to have a i want to have a good time i'm going to enjoy myself i'm going to eat this but then it keeps happening and happening and happening and then before you realize it you're eating poorly five to eight times a week maybe more than that and then what happens over time this isn't a sad video this is a happy video this is an informative video but what happens over time with those patterns those tendencies is you gain weight and like I always say as you're aging as you're distancing yourself from your 20s and gaining weight it's a terrible combination we have to we have to live with ourselves and our one and only body for the rest of our life so my opinion you know don't don't, uh, don't throw a brick at me. It's my opinion that our bodies are pretty important and we must, we should do the things to keep them functional and as energetic as possible. So that's where the eating like it matters comes into play. We have one body. We shouldn't be indulging. I don't call it indulging. I call it damning yourself by continuously eating things that are really bad for you. So we shouldn't indulge in foods that are going to cause us to gain a lot of weight. And the flip side of that, the activity part. Just because you can't go to the gym and put in hours and hours and look as good as the guy next to you doing bench press or squat rack or whatever, that's not going to happen overnight. It may never happen. And that's fine. When it comes to exercise, and I want to isolate this, something is better than nothing. The something is better than nothing cannot bleed into other things in life because it doesn't fit in a lot of cases. So when it comes to exercise, physical activity, something is always better than nothing. And once you get going, then you'll do more. You'll, you'll do your same routine. I don't care if it's a walk, five jumping jacks, two push-ups, whatever it is. That's going to become easy to you, and then you're going to realize, I can do more, and then you're going to do more, and then you'll get, you'll get better. So, at the conclusion of this video, we're eating like it matters so that we do not ruin our bodies. 
and we're being physically active no matter what it is it's going to grow it's going to increase and the benefits of being physically active at at this point i should not have to spell them out but i will i'll give you a couple little things when we're physically active with regards to doing exercise our normal daily activities become easier getting out of your car climbing out of bed working nine hours or 10 or 12 hours of work, whatever, how many hours you work, all these things become easier because now you're exercising. You're putting your body under a stress, an amount of physical stress that exceeds what you do during your normal day to day. So you're setting your threshold higher to the things underneath it, getting out of the bed, lifting a kid into a car seat, lifting up something at work, all those things are easier than that physical exercise you did. You pushed your threshold of activity, strength or whatever, higher. Have a good day.